Welcome to The Gaggle, where we talk politics in Arizona and beyond. This week, did the Russians hack Arizona voter data? And has Secretary of State Michelle Reagan changed her position on sharing some of that data with the Trump administration? But first, we start with Republicans' latest attempt to repeal Obamacare. It went down in flames again. And President Trump is blaming who, Dan? Oh, well, Senator McCain, just like he did in July, he didn't literally give it the thumbs down, but he announced Friday that uh, he's going to vote. He would have voted against the Graham Cassidy bill, kind of uh, was the beginning of the end. He might not have been the dramatic final vote this time on the floor, but uh, certainly knocked the seemed to knock the wind out of <laughs> out of the momentum of the Senate Republicans. Uh, ultimately, it's not coming to a vote, and obviously McCain and President Trump go back. A long way with their feud. We've written about it every step of the way, and it's pretty clear that McCain is still living in uh, inside Trump's head. He's been like taking swings at him almost every day since Friday. Uh, he whacked McCain at a, a Alabama rally. He whacked him on Twitter. Uh, called into an Alabama radio show hosted by Rick and Bubba and beat up on McCain some more. So, I assume that's not the end of the feud, despite uh, McCain's ongoing health issues. Will this uh, efforts to repeal Obamacare come back, or are they done? Seems like they're done. They're moving on uh, to tax reform, but President Trump's not giving up. He's made some comments that they're going to try to revisit it again, maybe next year in January. So, Aliyah, we have a bit of a uh, election 2016 mystery. Did the Russians try to hack Arizona voter data or not? What are, what are we hearing? Uh, you'll basically have to wait and see is the early answer. But to get to the background, Department of Homeland Security called Secretary Reagan Friday morning and a number of other states, I think 21 other states, and said, we think you all have been hacked. So we had heard a little bit about this from the FBI months ago, but this is the first time Department of Homeland Security has officially said, in the 2016 election, we think somehow your voter registration data was hacked. But we're not going to tell you how or if it was hacked until our next conversation, which I think is scheduled for uh, October, early to mid-October. So in the interim, are they doing any sort of due diligence? Are they talking to uh, law enforcement about this? At this point, no. They did a huge sweep earlier, several months ago, like I said, when the FBI released that information and had their state staff go through everything. They say they're confident they were not hacked. There was an attempt they found out of Gila County with some voter information, but they were able to confirm they say that that information, again, was not hacked. There was an attempt, but it didn't succeed. And so they're going to wait and see. They have to see what the additional information is. But at this point, they feel confident that they were not successful. So Dustin, speaking of the voter data, some of the Trump administration has requested some of it for what, investigating potential voter fraud. Where is Secretary of State Michelle Reagan on this? Well, that's been difficult to nail down. Um, so in June, she said that she was going to release some information that was public record, but not like social security numbers or maiden names. Um, and then in the beginning of July, right before the July 4th holiday, she denied a request from the commission, um, this Voter Integrity Commission, and said that basically she wasn't providing anything in that letter. And then now it sounds like her office is saying that she's going to provide what is public record and she's working on a letter responding to the commission with the secretaries of state and seven other states, kind of outlining their, their position and, and what information they would release. So it's basically kind of up in the air to, to a two degrees still. Is she going to provide what's public record? It sounds like she is now, um, but how is that different from her previous stances? It just keeps kind of shifting, it seems. She has a Republican challenger. She's a Republican. Does that have anything to do with her maybe taking a more Trump-friendly position on this? Yeah, so her primary opponent, Steve Montenegro, a state senator, he's been blasting her on this, saying that she's not cooperating with Trump's commission. Um, did that change her position? I don't know. She's taken a lot of flack on both sides. Initially, when she said, first said she was going to release some information, she was inundated with complaints from a lot of voters. Um, and then her stance shifted a little bit, and now she's getting attacked from some Republicans, and maybe it's shifting again. And I guess we're going to see what this, when this letter comes out, what she's finally going to land on. Fair enough. Dan, what are you watching for this week? Uh, just keeping tabs on Arizona's emerging Senate race. Aaliyah? Apparently I'm waiting for the Department of Homeland Security to tell <laughs> us whether we've been hacked or not. Yes, you are. <laughs> Dustin? I'm going to see where Secretary Reagan finally lands on this voter information. That's the gaggle for this week. Thanks for watching.